Hello, my dear friends. Today I would like to speak about the valency, valence electron, as well as how to make the molecular formula with the help of valency. But most of the students, they have a doubt in how to find the valency. So let me show you. First of all, this is the modern periodic table, which is known as long form of periodic table. Here, each of these are the elements like hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon. These are the elements. And each of the elements, they have their atomic number. And atomic number is nothing but the number of proton. And number of proton and number of electron are equal, same. That's why, here, in order to find out the valency, we need to take the help of the number of electrons. Here, let us consider the example of sodium. Here you see the symbol of sodium is Na. As sodium, its atomic number is 11. So how many electrons are there? 11. So here, we know that we have to go through energy level. This first cell is known as K shell or K orbit. It has the capacity to occupy two electrons. This second cell, it has the capacity to occupy eight electrons. That is called L shell. And the third shell, this is known as M shell. It also has the capacity to occupy eight electrons. And the fourth cell, this is called N shell. It has the capacity to occupy 18 electrons. Here, based on this energy level, with the, help, with the help of this energy level, we have to find out the number of electrons, that valency. Here, let you see. Here, sodium has 11 electrons. From the 11 electrons, two electrons will enter in the first cell. Without filling the first cell, the electrons cannot go through the further cells, like M shell or N shell or that. If the condition, first the electron should go inside of the first shell. Now, two electrons entered in the first shell, how many electrons left? Nine. So here you see, out of this nine electrons, eight electrons will enter in the second shell. And now how much electron left? Only one. This one electron will enter in the third cell. It has a capacity to occupy eight electrons, but one electron entered. Yeah, how many places lies vacant? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven plus life second. Now, how we have to know, how we get to know what is the valency of sodium? Here, the number of present electrons in the outermost shell or the last shell of that very element is called a valence electron. This is the valence electron. This is the number of valence electrons. Now, valency, this concept is a little bit critical to understand. Here, we have to find out the present electron and absent electron. Here you see, present electrons, absent electrons. Here, in the third cell, it has the capacity to occupy eight electrons. Out of these eight electrons, only one present, that is the valence electron. But valency, valency is what? Between the, how many plus lies vacant? Seven plus lies vacant. Here, yeah, which number is less? Number of present electron is less than number of absent electron. So this one less, less one is considered to be the valency. So we got the valency. Now, if we consider the example of that chlorine, here chlorine, it has 17 electrons. Out of the 17 electrons, 2 electrons will enter in the first cell. Here remaining 15. Out of the 15 electrons, 8 will enter in the second cell. Remaining 7. Here, uh, this 7 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 electrons enter. Only one place lies vacant. Here for chlorine, it's for chlorine. 7 electron enter, that is the valence electron for chlorine. And only one plus light second. So this number is less, so it is the valence for chlorine. So if we 
go on making the molecular formula of sodium chloride, we have to go on like this way. Sodium, its valency is 1, valency is 1. Here chlorine, its valency is 1. So the, the valency of chlorine will go towards sodium and the valency of sodium will go towards chlorine. Like this way, the molecular formula forms. Here, this is the lesson by which we can go on proceeding in order to find out the molecular formula of various elements. So next time I will, I am going to introduce some other facts about the radical. So you just wait for my next video. Thank you.